Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. From Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? Planetary defenses are under Quarian control, and we're establishing facilities for food production. Geth tech is still similar enough to ours that we've got a ton of raw material for repairs. We'll be up and fighting soon. I wish your people could take the time to rebuild properly. But you know I need the fleet. No, we've spent centuries running. The Quarians are ready to fight. We've already got carriers bolstering the Turian fleet and evacuating refugees from colonies. When your fifth fleet launches the assault to retake Earth, we'll be there to blow the Reapers to hell. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander. The Corians just fought a devastating war with the Geth. Now they're allies against the Reapers. But are the Corians in any condition to fight a second war so soon? Believe me, the Corians are ready for this. They're the most skilled engineers in this galaxy, and they live an airlock away from death every day. You add in a homeworld to defend, you might as well just point them at the Reapers and stand back. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed, so did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy we've got another fleet. Aye aye, Commander. Cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily.
I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? A badass military woman? Definitely. He would have tried to use his irresistible William's charm on you. My mom would have laughed until he waved her away. Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. It's easy to forget what we fight for. Yeah, moments like that. This was a good idea. Nice to get away from the war for a while. I do feel a little guilty, though. Sure. But sometimes you have to step away or risk going crazy. Too late. <laughs> no argument here. You're a crappy commander. You're a crappy commander... Ma'am. Copy that. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. I can understand Saren's thugs sneaking around in the wards, but the Presidium... Silenced muzzle, polonium rounds. Nobody even heard it. It was just a jab in the arm. And then radiation and rupture warnings. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. 
I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. Maybe we should go have a little talk with that clerk. <laughs> I spent three years waiting to come back and make his life hell. But when I finally saw him, he was just a clerk whose people desperately need help. Which they'll get, thanks to you. Nice work, Ambassador. This war is more important than grudges and prejudice. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? We'll talk later. I'm sure. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We're aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst. Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. Why the sudden cooperation? The Reaper's progress has changed everything. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. Rex! Shepard! Visitors are prohibited from bringing weapons into the- What are you doing? I know what you did. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Where did you get that? Morden wasn't my only source in STG. Or did you think I was as dumb as my brother, Reeve? What have you done? The other Krogan aren't like you, Rex. They live for war. I couldn't take that chance. I should have known not to trust you. The war starts here. And before you die, I want you to know I'm calling off our support for Earth. If my people go extinct, so do yours. Doesn't have to be this way, Rex! It should have been this way back on Vermeer. But I made the mistake of trusting you, believing you were my friend. I know what you what the hell pissed him off? I hoped it wouldn't come to this. Attention. We didn't see eye to eye. No kidding. He was a friend once. I don't know, an angry Krogan coming at you like that? He didn't leave you much of a choice. No. I guess not. 
Well, sorry it ended this way, Shepard. All right, people, let's get to it. And let the morgue know we've got another delivery coming, probably too big for a coffin. Might have to space this one. Commander? 